This has been a mistake. It's that time of year where I've kind of officially stopped driving Black Beauty. You gotta drive it a little bit more here. Uh, but it's November as it stands right now. And that means we get into the winter projects with Black Beauty. I do all the projects, I put it into a video, and then I post it on YouTube. So what you're about to see is potentially several months worth of work. The first thing that we're gonna do is kind of a dick around little thing. Um, well, I'll show you. It is uh, not a mechanic special subreddit edition, not a bodywork specialist. So a few months ago, I bought these little pad things to go on to the old uh, drill extension thing here uh, for cleaning the bathroom. And they work pretty good for cleaning the bathroom. Well then, a while back, I was screwing around and I just put it right here to the back of the truck and just kind of scrubbed on it a little bit and she shined her up pretty good. So then I thought, well, what if we do the rest of the truck? And I kind of screwed around with this quarter panel and went, holy hell, it doesn't look too bad. Now, obviously, there is a bunch of rust on this truck. And we may get into a little tss, 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 painting uh, this winter. But for now, I just said, well, the hell with it. Let's get just get her shined and waxed up for all the, the parts. So when people look at her from way far back, they'll go, wow, look at how nice she looks. So that's going to be one of the first projects. Other projects this winter include a power steering pump. You go to try to park this thing in any parking lot of your local grocery store, auto zone, where I often end up buying parts for this. You go to try to park her uh, there and you turn that wheel and you get a lot of squealing, little We don't want that. So power steering pump, that's what we've sourced it to. I know some people have said, well, it could just be, uh, uh, you got a you know, loose belt, belt's not loose. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on that this winter. And I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of other dick around projects. So for now, we're just gonna scrub on this guy a little bit. See if we can't get that shined up. Then maybe throw a little wax over it. Why the hell not? So I have finished uh, polishing on her. And gonna be honest, like, it's not great. It's not bad. But I mean, it's, you I mean, you can see, look at me. There's me right there. You couldn't, couldn't do that before. Than what it was, nothing like shining up rust. It worked out okay. I mean, minimal effort. But I think, uh, you know, from across the parking lot, it's going to be okay, right? Right? Even shined up that metal a little bit. I'll show you what we used. Nothing crazy, nothing special. There's all my Zions. This polish. And uh, put it on one of those pads and just... A little wavy in there, but I mean, it was oxidized and like whitish black before, so... If you took like a primo shot of the truck, like, I mean, that's, don't go down far, maybe up a little, like, that's not bad. If I said, I'm selling you this truck, you'd be like, hot damn, and I'd be like, ha, 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 gotcha. Okay, hear me out. I did the polish. The polish got the black shiny. And I started looking at the rust on it. And I had a little can of some black spray paint. And I did a little spot. And I was like, it doesn't look any worse than the rust. So why not just give her a quick coat of uh, rattle can spray paint uh, over all the rust? And the results are what you would expect. I mean, this is one coat. And granted, I got a lot of sun coming in there, so that looks weird. But like here, I mean, that was all rust before. I'm going to hit it again, but... I mean, as I call her, she's a parking lot beauty now. That doesn't look bad, right? I mean, yeah, it's still rusted to shit. But like this bottom area here, like it, that's better than, it's better than staring at rust. I mean, at least it's all black. I did not hit any of this top with spray paint because this paint is, is good. It wasn't rusted. I mean, ultimately, I'm not going for perfection here, but like I think from about 100 feet away, you might look at that and go, hey, she ain't bad. Like way back here even, she still seems okay. The last coat I put on is drying and 
I'm oddly satisfied with how this turned out. For a paint job, that literally cost me about $12. I mean, we got rid of a lot of rust. Well, we didn't get rid of it, we just covered it up. It's like everything in life. Why go to therapy? Just force it down, cover it up, force it to your insides. I mean, it's, it's still there. We'll deal with it when we have to. Down here, she's black. Obviously, that's not good, but I did kind of hit that with the sander a little bit to smooth her down. Probably should have done it a little bit more. Meh. When it rusts all the way through, I'll do that. Probably more importantly with this, like I'm gonna drive this some in the next week before I officially put it away for winter. Uh, the old wife has got to uh, drive my truck, do a little uh, scrapey scrapey on her car. That was actually my fault. So I'm gonna drive it some. It's gonna be out in the elements. I'm gonna wash it again before I bring it in here. So it may hold up, may not hold up. I don't know, if it doesn't, another $12 worth of spray, uh, spray paint. Not a mechanic, we get to work. We've done a couple things on the truck to uh, improve it this winter. But we're gonna tackle one of the things that's annoyed me since I've started driving this again, and that is the power steering pump. So that's the old power steering pump. And what tends to happen with this bad boy is when you're driving, it drives just fine. But then when you try to go left or right, short turn radius, she just squeals. So we gotta take that off, um, bleed the system, and then uh, install a new one. As I get ready to dig into this project and I've already bought the new power steering pump, I'm starting to think I'm an idiot, you know, because I'm not a mechanic. And I don't know if I need to replace this power steering pump. Let me show you. See, that's the belt that goes to the power steering pump. And when it starts squealing, that means, oh, hey, it's it's not getting enough fluid into the, you know, the, the actual power steering. So it starts squealing. And one of the reasons it will squeal is because the pump is not, you know, good, it's gone out, or that it's not able to get enough pressure because the belt is loose. Now, See if I can show you this. Like, that's that's loose. Like, I don't, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to just spin the pulley on the belt there. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be enough tension that like, it doesn't do anything. And that pulley's not bad and it's not really leaking. So I may have bought all this or nothing. And damn it, because now I just loosened that bolt in that bolt and then pried on that piece to kick it out some and look like that that pulley is tight again so i'm pretty sure i'm an idiot and that's all that needed to happen well <clears throat> at least i'll have a nice credit at autozone well shit that either means my uh, brake line that's going to this wheel has a leak in it at the fitting or the bleeder fitting needs to be replaced. Here we go. So after beating the ever-loving hell out of that, we got it off. And I've been told it's probably a cylinder leak, which means I'm, I'm assuming we got to replace like that thing. So here we go. The joys. So today we're gonna tackle it. A little shaky there, let's hold that up. Today we're gonna tackle it. Yeah, we're gonna replace the brake shoes on this. Gotta get the wheel cylinder out of here. Gotta take everything off. We got new wheel cylinders to put in. And I don't know, I think those are pretty worn. Who knows? New's better than old, right? So we're wiping old Black Beauty down with a Scotch-Brite pad and some Dawn dish soap because today I've said the hell with it. We're gonna throw some wipe on clear coat on there from the old Vice Grip garage. Once again, do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. I'm just following some instructions, probably not doing the proper prep work. I wanna make it look a little better than what it did. So we're gonna wipey wipey, cleany cleany. 
put on some clear coat. And we're gonna say screw it and see what happens. So I've done a little grind down some surface rust, spray paint over it here. It looks like absolute hell. But you know what, that's okay. Cause it's my truck and I don't care. It runs, it drives. I kind of intentionally, when I started doing this project, the whole thought was I was just gonna have a truck that ran and drove perfectly, but looked like absolute hell. Well, I just got done applying the shine juice. I have no idea if I did it right. I have no idea if it's gonna look any better, but hey, it's on there. Okay, some time has passed. We've put on this clear coat. It's obviously smudgy and streaky. So um, yeah, you're supposed to sand this. So that's what I'm doing today. Stupid me completely thought um, all I would have to do is just wipe on this clear coat and everything would be perfect. Well, that's not gonna be the case. So we have to do some sanding and buffing and polishing, which is a lot of work for a truck that has a shitty paint job on it to begin with. So this has been a mistake. Some might call it defeat, but I've decided I'm not doing this by hand. It's pretty like not good already. So we went to Harbor Freight. And by no means is this a commercial for Harbor Freight. Um, in fact, Harbor Freight uh, will probably be like, yeah, um, do not endorse us uh, because Harbor Freight is for slap dicks like me that don't know what they're doing and they need a tool that they're gonna use like once. And so they go there and they buy it because it's inexpensive and hopefully it can clean this project up. Oh, we've done 800, we've done 1200, we've done 1500, we've done 2000, we've done 3000. We're gonna do 4000 grit one last time over. I don't know if what the hell I'm doing is working or not. I'm just following the steps. Welcome to this. So done all the sanding, then put on like the, the compound to rub the compound in and then put on a layer of finish. And it's not terrible. It's still messed up. It's not good, but I'm less embarrassed by it now. You see, she's pretty shiny. There's some spots in there where there's some sanding issues because I was an idiot and went too fast and blah, blah, blah. There, you can see them. Yeah, don't do that. But she's shiny. I mean, look at that. Hi. Well, in one of the more futile efforts known to man, we've polished the turd. So here's what we've did. Done. Did it? Did. did. Uh, there's all sorts of imperfections on this, obviously. So essentially, uh, we scraped her down, we put some clear coat on it, and then I went through the sanding from one to another, to another, to another. Like I started with 600, then I went to 1,000, then I went to 1,200, then I went to 1,500, then I went to 2,000, then I went to 3,000, then I went to 4,000. Grit, all the way around. Polishing a turd quite literally but you know it's shiny and i think from way back in the parking lot people go oh yeah she looked it looks pretty good after all of the sanding was done there it is all that stuff there so like did the compound and buffed it in there and then put the polish on and then uh put a wax on and I will say, I mean, it is quite shiny and it is pretty slick. Let's see if I can, yeah, this, this might work. Let's see how slick she is. Not at all. All right, that was failure. A lot of people might say, hey, what'd you all do mechanically on it to make it run better, make it more reliable? Uh, yeah, I wasted most of my time making it shiny. I'm sure I will not regret that at all halfway through the summer when that oil leak becomes a bigger problem than what it already is. Uh, or when I should have actually just changed out the power steering pump, but instead I just tightened the belt hoping that would work. I wish I could lie to you about 
what I'm going to do today. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is actually very needed on this truck. So uh, I'm deci I've decided I'm going to replace the leaf springs on it. Now, you've watched this entire video of everything I did this winter and when you did the brakes, then you put the wheels back on and then you did a whole bunch of like paint and body work. And now you're going to take those wheels back off and replace the leaf springs now. Why didn't you just, just do that? Because I hadn't bought them yet and winter got extended and I don't really want to drive the truck right now. So I was like, oh, let's take on another project. So let's see how bad I can totally screw this up. Let's take a look at what's on there now and then we'll do the whole like, ooh. So you can see, this is kind of your normal, what, what do they call it? Four by one, four pack leaf spring. And we gotta take that bolt off and then this one back here. But I'll show you why we're actually replacing them. There's a little, oh yeah, huh. So you can count, there should be four at the end here, but there's only three because that one's broken off back there. And if you've ever really examined the videos of this truck, you can't really see from here, but she sits a little cockeyed. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's because of that. Technically, the passenger side leaf spring is probably okay. Now, if you go back to the very first video in this series, you will see I replaced this rear axle because it was toast, it was gone. And I had the axle off and the wheels off and didn't think I should do anything with the leaf springs at that time. That would have been the smart, natural progression in doing this. But if you've watched all of this series, you definitely understand there's been no smart, natural progression to any of this. I don't know, boys. I think that Carolina squat would look good on her. I'm kidding. If you've done that to your square body, you got to do in that squat where it goes meh. That's dumb. Also, just for safety purposes, I've got the jack stands obviously still in front. I've got these on the front of the frame here. And then I've got these guys sitting on the back of the frame here. Yeah. You know, just so it doesn't drop and kill me. We've taken the bolt out there. We've taken our U-bolts off there. And we've taken our bolt off there. So now I should be able to take the jack drop it down, this should fall out of the way, and then I can put the new leaf on there. Thank God for me YouTubing how to do it. Okay, so I had to have done something wrong because this went together way too easy. Like I just got, I got to put the U-bolts back on there, but like one bolt, one bolt just slides into place. There's absolutely no way I've done this right. Something's going to screw up. Now, this video will give you a little better idea of why we're doing the old replacement. That's broke. That one's cracked. So, we're much better now. We've got them in on both sides. Got new U-bolts on there. That's key. New U-bolts. Do new U-bolts. In order to get the windshield wiper fluid thing fixed on this, I would have to replace the entire windshield wiper. Well, that'll just fall there for now. The entire windshield wiper motor. Now, here's the deal. What is broken is the pump in there. I burned it out because I hooked it up wrong. Yeah, I know that's shocking. So instead of replacing that entire thing, I'm going to replace this guy on the side with this uh, cheap ass Amazon windshield wiper thing. And we're gonna see if that works. More than likely, it won't. But this was $15. Well, that was a lot more. This was $15. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But to replace that whole motor thing, like even like a remand one's like 70 bucks. A good one's probably gonna be a hundred and some. So let's just do it this way. Okay, that was too easy. There's like two little mounting screws here. And that guy just has a mount and I put it in that one. So there she is. And it, you know, ain't firm enough. Okay. Squirtsies. 
I got squirtsies. Final look at this butte. Two wires into that. We got her filled up. She's not leaking yet, so that's good. Uh, Half-assed uh, black tape those together and then tied them in right there so they don't fall. Uh, routed the water line, you know, up through there. Got a little T there using one of the original lines to go up to that squirter. And then that's just a piece of fuel hose I had left over that fit. And we got it hose clamped on over there. Is this the right way to do this? Absolutely not. Is it gonna work good enough for me? I mean, the kit itself comes with the new little squirter thingies. I could have put those in. I could have wired it up to my dash and used this to activate the pump, but I'm actually just using the switcher pump push in that's already inside the truck. And then I think you're supposed to use the rest of that mounting stuff, but don't need to. She's secure. Of course, one final touch before we make her mobile. Yeah, had to, uh, had to get those on. There's absolutely a better way to put these on than what I did, but I'll show you the half-ass way that I did it. We just cut a little angle iron and several pieces, screwed it on there, and then just some self-tappers right in the bumper. Thank you to everybody that has watched this 2023 winter edition of what the hell we've been doing with Black Beauty. Now, usually at this point, you got some sort of driving video, me taking her out, showing you how she handles, showing all the improvements. Uh, unfortunately, uh, weather's still bad. Also, I've edited all the clips for this. And I just want to finish this damn video up. So I'll have a summer series coming out right after this uh, where I'm going to drive the truck and show you some of the things that I've done and what it looks like out in the wild and all that stuff and maybe some other dumb summer things like maybe I'll take it on a long trip or something and see if it works. But that's it. Appreciate you watching uh, the episode 7 of Not a Mechanic for the couple thousand people that have actually done this. There is something wrong with you. But that's okay. I appreciate you checking out the can, uh, the uh, the channel, 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 and following along. So more to come with Black Beauty um, in a few weeks or months. We'll see you summer twenty twenty three.